Has it really been 51 years? Seems like only yesterday that I was being called down to Mr. Cavanaugh's office or cutting Miss Rowland's English literature class. Seems like only yesterday that I came home from our graduation, got sick on Judy Salador's lawn, and she bade me farewell saying, have a nice life, Jim. Judy, I did. I had fun. I accomplished a lot for which I'm really proud. And like in high school, I did some things I'd really, really rather forget. Ours was a class that I would hope left its mark on the world. We were to realize the dreams of our immigrant parents and grandparents, why they came to America. We were their dreams. We were the last of the generation conceived before and during World War II. The last of the cohort that precedes the famous baby boomers. Our generation went through massive social upheavals, disruptive economic turmoil, political divisions that ripped into the heart of the nation. And above all, we had to learn to change with the times. We grew and realized our grandparents' dreams. We responded to John F. Kennedy's call to ask not what your country could do for you, but what you could do for your country. Some of us heeded that call and we went off to far off places. And then we were spat on for our efforts. We raised sons, daughters, grandchildren, took care of our parents as they need our help now. Will our children get to live out the dreams that we have for them? We produced captains of industry, the workers that toiled in their factories, scholars, policemen, doctors, technicians, mechanics, nurses, artists, and all the other functionaries that define our roles in life. We saved lives, we healed, we wrote, we wiped runny noses, and we comforted our children. And then we taught the next generation to take our places. And we got all of this, we got our start in of all places, Yonkers, New York, at the Charles E. Gordon High School. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, Muriel Taylor, Michael Rubin, Mrs. Ryan, and especially you, Linda Duff, for my typing skills and being the best-looking teacher in Gordon. Thanks to you, my fellow classmates and friends, for your contributions to our collective efforts in life. We did it. Now it's time to let go, release control to our children and their children. It's time to reflect, to enjoy the fruits of our labor, to travel, to reconnect, and ask ourselves if we're proud of our legacy. Did we fulfill our grandfather's and mother's dreams? I'm proud of what we collectively leave behind. I'm proud to have known each of you in the class of 1963 and to have shared this reunion. I think we can be proud of what we leave behind. We lived the dream of our parents and our grandparents. This is a better world and we helped make it. God bless you all. It's been quite a bumpy ride and it's not over yet. More importantly, we can know in our hearts that despite the ups and the downs, it was worth it and we mattered. Judy, so long and have a great rest of your life.